Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at drop down lists and I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this. Now, stay right to the end because I have a little surprise for you that's coming up in the new launch of Microsoft. So wait till the end. Now, let's go over to the department. What we want to do is we want to put this list here as a drop down list. So we can simply go onto one cell or we could simply highlight all of the cells that we want the data validation to come to. We go across to the tab to data, go to this little icon here, data validation, click onto the data validation and allow, click on the drop down and go across to list. Now, what we want to do is we want to choose the source for where the items are. So this is where our list sits. Need to click on that, press OK. And now we have a drop down list that consists of that. Now, this can be as dynamic as possible. So, for example, you want to put fruits or you want to change this to fruit. And as, as an example, we can go across and it gets changed to fruit automatically. So this is one way to use the drop down. Another way is if you don't have too many variables, you can type them directly into the data validation box. So once again, select the cell. We go across to the data validation, click on that, go down to list. And here we could put yes, a comma, followed by the next variable, which would be no in this case. So there we go. We have a yes here and we can filter across to no. And there you go. Now, a really cool new feature that's coming out in Microsoft 365. It's currently available on the beta version. And what it does is it allows you to search through the drop down list. So how to activate that? We go across to file, we go over to account, Office Insider and join Office Insider. So there are a lot of terms over here. What it does is allow you to early access. You can have some risks over here, but overall, I don't think you'll face any problems. Um, right now we have a current channel preview, but we want to have a look at the beta channel. So once again, just click on OK, press OK. And now it's going to ask you to run. Press yes. Congratulations, you've opted in. And now press OK. If you want to subscribe to the newsletter, please do. And we go back home, we check for the updates. Okay, and once it's installed the update, what will happen is you'll have to reopen Excel and now here's the magic. So before you would have to click on to the drop down list and find everything there. So the first thing that you would notice it's the same list. We've just added some additional uh, duplicates here and it removes the duplicate. So that's one of the core features. And the other thing is you don't want to keep typing. There we go. So it just comes up dynamically searches the list and you can just press tab to go across. And if you want to type in dairy, that comes in as well. So there you have it, guys. It's a really cool feature. It's been a long time coming. It's available in Google Sheets, but I think it's um, perfect that now that it's in Excel. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've had time to download it and play around with it. Comment down below if you managed to do it and if you find this feature cool. Thanks for your time and see you in the next video.